Hi, before I begin today's video, I just wanted to say sorry for the lack of content recently. I know I said videos every Wednesday, but I haven't been doing that, so sorry, sorry about that. I have been streaming a lot on Twitch recently, so check me out in the link in the description below. But other than that, enjoy the rest of the video. Hi, welcome to the night before the ride. Now at this point I was pretty nervous because I wasn't sure I was able to finish the ride. Me and my friends were talking about how there was a bus that would follow you and pick you up if you were too slow and if you didn't keep up to pace. Now obviously that scared me, being the slowest member there. What happened? Like, yes, you can get it out. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, it's like, I'm just gonna have to put a few on this one. Dude, it's like 30 grams of carbs per. Yeah, that's the proper bun. Wait, you know, the shortest for the whole thing. No, no, it's for one hopper's bun. Nah, stop the cat. Yeah, 36 grams per serving. What is one serving? One serving is one bun. Where's the thing? Load up. Load up. Yeah. That's why I was eating it like the other day. Riverside Drive, just park your cars there. No, 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 they, no. They said no. It said, they no, said no, not park. They said don't park in the residential area. But like, how are they gonna know, right? It's just. Uh, yeah, I live there, dude. <laughs> I live at the two Riverside Drive. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Wait, who's oh, dude, thing? we parked at Coles. Coles? Is Coles at Wally Parking? Yeah, we parked there. Yeah, but yeah, you have 5,000 people walking up to your local Coles. <laughs> All in like, in like, like, we're gonna park at Point Danger and then right, and then everyone just will meet in like, Chill the wrong day. Yeah, this one. So let's, let's just say we meet in front of the toilet. I remember him playing guitar this one time in music class. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like there's a bit of rust in your shape. <laughs> you want to talk about Brandon check? Oh, yeah. So Brandon's car hit a pothole and he had to wait for the insurance company to come help him, which is why he was late. He needs to be he with his car, his right? Car, yeah, he know. needs to be with his car. Yeah. <laughs> Show him some moral support by driving. <laughs> you should just buy it today, Kai. What? You should just buy it today. No, I bought it like a few weeks ago. I'm just buying it for today. today. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like, like leading up to the flight to Japan. I was like, oh, she looks so excited. <laughs> yeah. And as soon as I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> what? What'd you do? Okay, okay. <laughs> so, Where's this guy? <laughs> so, what I understand about contacts is you have to put them in and that corrects your vision during the day. However, Nick has to put them on during the night and during the night it bends his eyeballs and it makes him see better during the day. So basically he just told me he puts on these glass lenses when he sleeps and then when he wakes up he takes them off and his eyesight is perfect. And I'm like, what? And then, but it, it pretty much deteriorates throughout the day. Miracle. And then, yeah. yeah. If you wanna have a look. Oh yes. They're yeah, like, nice. they're, they're glass. It was now 11 p.m. and we had to wake up at 6 a.m. the next day. Brandon had only just arrived after getting his car fixed at Torquay. So, he had to settle in. Yeah. Are you sleeping like that? Yeah, I just want to test it out. Try the jersey on. Oh really? I've had this jersey you, for about three oh, weeks. You can... <laughs> 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 I've just said, I've just, I've told Brandon to try the jersey on like 10 times. Oh, you didn't want this 
Oh, so many creases. Dude, look at all these aero losses. With that, <laughs> it was time to tuck everybody in and say goodnight. Big day tomorrow. Good night, Mama Henry. Good night, brother. Good night. Sleep tight. Sleep well. Good night. Good night, Jared. Good night, Henry. Good night. Rest well. Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Good night, <laughs> Rest well. Good luck. Good luck tomorrow. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. Now with breakfast out of the way and everybody woken up, it was time to pack and prepare for the ride. It is essential to bring a lot of high carb foods with you on long distance rides because you have to recover as much energy as you burn. I made sure to stack my pockets with as many muesli bars and lollies as possible and filled my bottles up with Powerade. Not sponsored by the way. Now power gels are also an efficient way of getting energy as it's just a high density shot of sugar. Scale of 1 to 10, what is your uh, chances of making it? Zero. What? <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no fucking way. On a scale of 1 to 10, how confident are you? I don't know. Solid 3.5, man. I'll see you at the sag one, bro. Oh, fucking sag. Okay. Five. Okay. That's higher than everyone else. Depends on the win. Okay, so from here on out, basically, I'm going to be using a GoPro. I'm not bringing this heavy-ass camera along with me on the ride. So I'll see you with the GoPro footage. Laters. Peace. Okay. Before we get to the start line, let me quickly explain the route we will be taking. Firstly, we'll be starting and ending in Torquay. Refreshment stops are located every 25 kilometers or so along the path, so we can go grab a bite to eat or use the toilet. Now the route is going to take you from Torquay all the way to Dean's Marsh, where you will have to climb a mountain. After descending the mountain, we will reach the lawn, and then we'll enjoy a flat ride by the Great Ocean Road before reaching Torquay again. In total, the ride is about 145 kilometers long, so it should take about six hours. But knowing me, that's not happening. Ah, uh, we definitely didn't park in the residential area. I definitely expected it to be cold, but not this cold. I'm literally wearing my arm warmers and my rain jacket. I don't know how these guys are in shorts and a t-shirt. Huh? Yeah. Say cheese for the camera, guys. Cheese. Awesome, thanks very much. We were definitely not all smiling like this at the end of the ride. You know that feeling you get before an exam? The butterflies in your stomach? Yeah, that was what I was feeling. Okay, it's the start line now. It's now or never. Let's do this. Oh, 
finishing line. Colonial Brewing will Come have the old bees. Oh my god. Took out half. Took out half of the group, like film stack and everything. Oh the wind. Now yeah, at the start was the only place I could keep up with my friends. Later on, they literally disappear. So the initial plan was actually to meet at the first stop with everybody, but I was a little bit too slow and they all left without me. So it feels bad. Here, I treated myself to a nice big banana. I got to blow my nose because I literally could not breathe. I checked on my phone to see where everybody had went. Apparently, they were here literally two minutes ago, and they just left. What the hell? Yep, blowing my nose made no difference. All my boogers are back. Yikes. Why must it be like this? Fuck. Bye, Brandon. I don't know how these guys are doing it. The headwind was actually insane. I literally couldn't move my bike. No, I wish I had tracking. Okay. 145, that's me. Oh god, am I even gonna make it? 46. Bye guys, good luck in your 60s. So right now, I'm on my way to the second stop. Now, my GoPro battery actually died in the middle of this, so I have no footage of me making it to the second stop, but I made it, all right? Trust me, trust me. So after reaching the second stop, a guy told me that we were actually behind on schedule and that the wagon was coming. So knowing me, I didn't stop at this stop for a break. I continued going and I pedaled as hard as I could. But then my legs started cramping and I had to stop and the bus caught me. Uh, so yeah, I'm sitting in here being sad and mopey. Huh, hi again. Welcome back. Now you might be wondering, didn't you get picked up by the wagon? Why are you out here? Well, yes, yes indeed I did. But it turns out that the wagon actually doesn't crush my hopes and dreams and stop you it just boosts you to the next location. So yes, I got a 15 kilometer boost to Dean's Marsh. And now I'm back on the road, ready to suffer again. Hooray. I don't know how you guys do this. <laughs> Let's keep pushing. So right now we're about 75, 76 ish kilometers into the ride. And this climb goes on for about 14 kilometers. So here I am, walking some of the way, riding some of the way. It's a terrible time, but I'm making it. Oh wait, that's Brandon! Hold on a minute! Ah, oh, shit. Well, could be me. Could be me. Hey, can I get a lift, please? Thank you. See me, Marseille. 
I'm gonna say I shit. So it turns out that I could have taken the bus to the top of the climb. Like Brandon and Kai. I can't believe this. I can't believe they did this to me. I had no idea. I got baited into doing this climb. Fuck those guys. Oh, climb finished. Now, this is the best part. After finishing the climb in record speed of maybe two hours, I don't know how long I took, it was a really long time. It is time for the descent. Literally the best part. Okay. This is all I wanted to do. This is God, why I did my climb. I had Wee. no freaking idea I could just boss it to the top. Jesus Christ. Happy days. My POV of boss, boss man. Is there a rest point over there? What? Is there a rest point over that way? Okay. It's been shut apparently, so I guess we just go this way. Hooray! We made it to lawn, guys. Congrats! Now, the refreshment stop was closed, so I couldn't fuel up or anything. Uh, so I guess off we go again. My hands are like freezing off on the descent. Shivering. Oh god. It's not as bad anymore. Anyway. Okay. Is there one more stop on the way back? Yep. Okay, yes. good. Oh. I have still yet to eat my bars. Nice. I've, I've run out of my bars. Oh my god. The thing is, I can't one hand, so like, I have to stop every time I want to eat. Hey, guess what? I caught up to Nick. This is great. Now I have a buddy to ride back with. Okay, look. The only reason I caught up to him is because he stopped to take pictures and he actually stopped at the refreshment stop. It wasn't like I was fast or anything. Just, yeah, keep that in mind. Uh -huh. This whole ride, everyone else has been passing me. I'm too slow. I mean, like, I literally thought my ride was over when the sag wagon freaking picked me up. I was like, dude, it's over. I'm done for. And then they dropped me off at the climb and I'm like, <laughs> I didn't know that you could like take a bus to the top of the climb. Yeah. Like I saw the bus stop at the top of the climb and I'm like, why did I do this? Yeah, because like if you didn't get off, you could have just stayed on. Right? Yeah. You know this whole time, I've been uh, talking to the GoPro. People who pass me think I'm freaking insane. I'm just talking to myself. Nah, bro. Yeah, yeah. honestly, fair. I mean, at least you had music to listen to. I know, that's why I was like, that's the only thing keeps me going really. No, of course, when we go back, 
there's no wind at all. Where's my tailwind? Where was the promised tailwind? I have no idea. My thing doesn't tell me time. Oh god, that's also an uphill. Oh no. Unfortunately, not yet. They've already packed up all the food, we're too slow. Yeah, sorry. Oh. I mean, there is a fish and chip store. <laughs> okay, okay, guys. We're almost there. We just arrived at Aries Inlet. It's about another 30 kilometers to go. We got this. Let's go. Yeah, it's me again, by myself. Nick dropped me. He went on ahead. Next time, I really gotta bring more food. Welcome to the last stop before the finish line. Here, thankfully, there was still food and the toilets were still working. So I took this opportunity to pee and to engulf all the food that was left on the table. I took two muesli bars to go and literally a whole bag worth of snakes. Now these snakes would come in clutch because after consuming them, for about 30 minutes I had the biggest sugar high and I was literally steaming down the last 20 kilometers. Kilometers. Oh. Got the power up. Power up, man. Oh. So now with the ride over, it was finally time to head home. But the thing is, we parked a kilometer away, so we have to ride all the way back to our cars. No. Where are we? Is it up here? Left. Left here. Oh fuck it up. Two cars, baby. See you guys at home. Oh, David. Just like that. My car is still cramping. No. Why must it be like this? Please, I don't want to move. No, please. I just want to sit down. Alright, guys. That's it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed my pain. Remember to subscribe. Sorry for not posting. Uh, 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 I'll see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.